Hello, hello, hello. It's Nits for Sanity and welcome to my channel. Today I have an unboxing for you and it's one that I am so excited to be able to do. It has been a while since I have been able to purchase something for myself from a top-notch company and I was able to do that. So perhaps you've heard of Bella Art Diamonds. Um, same people, Jamie and Nicole of Bella Art Day Nicole, who do diamond painting accessories. Uh, a little over, going on a year and a half ago, actually, they purchased what was Mary's Diamonds and have just recently kind of completed that full transition into their own new diamond painting sellers of Bella Art diamonds. Um, conveniently, they've been able to merge both websites so you can purchase both your diamond painting accessories. And they've had other different fun things over the years too. And they're fully licensed diamond painting kits. I think they're up to 37 artists right now that they are currently supporting and producing their art into diamond painting kits. And these are gorgeous, gorgeous paintings. Not only is the art phenomenal, but everything is hand rendered and um, just done very, very well. And the kits are super high quality. I have received kits from them in the past that I was able to purchase and just fantastic, just fantastic stuff. They offered a spring mystery kit, which included a spring mystery diamond painting plus several accessories. This is not new. It's something they've offered in the past, like they had one before the holidays um, that I really wanted to be able to get. But thanks to, you know, having to buy Christmas presents, being Santa for my four children, the option of getting myself a gift was just not possible. So when they came out with the spring one and we got our tax return, I thought, you know what, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get the spring one. And there were several options included with this mystery kit. You could get round or square drills. Both were supported for this painting. And then there were tray options. You could get their 2.1 or their 3.1 version tray. You could get just a large tray or a small tray or both trays. For this one, I did something different for me and I opted to just get the large tray. My favorite are their small trays, but I've been using their small 3.1 green sparkle tray the most. But occasionally I do like pulling out a larger tray, you know, when it's a lot of color blocking. So I opted for a large tray. These items, of course, are all mystery. They are all surprises. So if you have ordered this mystery kit and you don't want to know what I have inside, stop watching. Or continue watching and know that you have this really awesome stuff coming your way. Here we have a lovely sticker. Thank you for supporting our small business. Um, Jamie did just recently retire from the military. So they are a military family. Um, sweet couple and very hardworking. And I strongly support their support of artists as well as they have a few employees. You know, they're supporting jobs too. So I appreciate them for that. All right, I wasn't 100% sure how to open the box. It was super easy. There was just a piece of tape on the end and then this box is fantastic. It's just a, like a normal, super nice. So it was really easy to get into this, which was appreciated. So first thing that you may notice is this is an old Mary's Diamonds box. Um, for most of their new paintings that you're just purchasing independently, they are now going to come in these fun blue shaded with the Bella Art Diamond logo on them. But why throw out perfectly good product if you still have it on hand? And so that's what they've done here is this is an old Mary's Diamonds box that if it's not broke, don't fix it, right? We're not gonna really spend any time looking at this particular box because it's from Mary's Diamonds and it's not Bella Art Diamonds. Oh, we got a magnet that popped out. <laughs> Guys, there are so many fun goodies in here. This is awesome. Okay, so I needed to do a little bit of investigating because when I was unboxing this, I went, I'm missing pieces. And I am. Um, so I'm going to go through what I have here and then I will tell you what else is supposed to be included in here. I will contact Bella Art and um, I'll let you know what happens. But my experience with them in the past has just been phenomenal. 
Hi guys. So just real quick, I wanted to pop in. I'm a bit of a mess. Just dropped my son off at dance class on a you know rainy Michigan spring day, cold. Uh, but about the missing items from this kit, I contacted Nicole from Bella Art Day Nicole, Bella Art Diamonds, and it's a known issue. It's something that the worker just made a mistake. They misread what was supposed to go into those mystery kits. So the company's already aware and they've already packaged those missing items and they're already on their way to customers. Nicole, who was waiting for back surgery and in quite a bit of pain right now, has been working on sending out emails to let customers know. I just didn't get my email yet. So the problem's already been taken care of. That's just a little update. Let me go through what we do have. So they came out with a special release spring tray, wax holder, and cover minder. Look at how cute these are. I love this tulip design. This is so springy. We got like, it's kind of almost a marigold yellow. And I know marigold is obviously not a spring flower, but, and it's also kind of a sunflower yellow, which is also not a spring, but this does look very springy to me. Tulip. This does look like yellow tulips, which we do have obviously a yellow tulip, a tulip on front and an orange tulip. I grew up in a place where we have a tulip festival every year. It is a pretty big deal. I mean, I had to take school off and everything. Like all local schools, they get time off from school to participate in the parades and whatnot. Um, so I always love seeing tulips and getting tulip things because it reminds me of my hometown growing up. But this is their 3.1 tray, their 3.1 large tray. To give you an idea of the size difference, here's that green sparkle, the green sparkle tray that I have been using. And so this is a small 3.1 and this is a large 3.1. So that is quite a bit more. It's about two times the amount of available tray space. So that it is substantially larger. Um, they do come with these stoppers that are amazing. They are very, very secure stoppers. I struggle to keep my stoppers just because I don't use them. But if you do store your drills, then this works great because you have a lid here, which, did you hear that little click? Isn't that, I mean, that that's how you know this is, look, this is in place, okay? It's not going anywhere. This stopper isn't going anywhere. So you can actually store drills in here. And in fact, wait, I do have an example of that. So this is another one of their trays that I do actually have drills stored in here. And it's, I mean, it's quite secure. They've been in here for a year and they're still all in here. So this is a uh, divider tray of theirs that I'm just using, I put in two sections. Um, but it, I mean, this, it just shows you how great these trays are. And then to coordinate with all of this, here is your wax holder, same image. This opens right up and you can stick your wax in here or your putty. It fits pretty much everything that you're gonna be able to get on the market. A patty wax cube should be able to fit in here or brick should be able to fit in here too. Um, this does have like a also kind of an attaching, do you hear that? That click. So again, very, very, very secure. The other thing that I appreciate is they actually put the one half of their magnet is printed inside of the tray, so you only have to deal with one magnet half, which I really, really love. Um, also, not only do you not lose this one, but this one's never going to fall off, which has been an annoyance for many a diamond painter. And finally, here is the cover minder that matches. Same thing with the cover minders. That other magnet is printed right inside of the plastic here, which is just, I love that. I love that so much. So these are all 3D printed and created by Jamie on site. And um, it's phenomenal. I mean, it's just phenomenal. I could not be more pleased. I think they're fantastic. Then you also have a flower funnel. So this is just a funnel, but it's super cute. It's kind of like a daisy type print. This was random color that you would receive in your kit. I got a black and white one. And just a nice, you know, normal, normal funnel. This one is a little hard for me to touch. 
If you know me, I do struggle sometimes with some of this 3D printed stuff. And this is an item that is a little bit difficult for me to touch. It feels a little like, eh. um, but that's just me and my, my weird quirks. The rest of these are fine, just fine. It's just the base of this flower has kind of that weird sensation for me. Um, it's just part of being neurodivergent. <laughs> Very, very, very normal for people like me. Um, but because I can touch the white with no problem, this will still see use. And I have with other items that I've received, I've covered in washi tape. And that has worked for me as well. And then they sent three of their new Sparkle Dust diamonds. And I don't know if this is going to be able to be picked up. Might be. But do you see why it's called Sparkle Dust? Orange, I thought, would maybe be the best one to show you. Green might work with the video. But do you kind of see that? Anyway, these are gorgeous. This is the first time I've seen these in person. And they are honestly prettier than what I was anticipating. These are gorgeous. I just love these. I love these. Now I want these in every color available. But you got three colors. And so I got red, green, and orange, which works very well with what I received here, the orange and green. I mean, this is like a perfect, this blends right in. Like those, these items look like, this looks like a luxury kit from someone which that's what this is. That's what Bella Art Day Nicole gives you is 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 luxury. And Bella Art diamonds cuz here are the diamonds too. So, but just that is perfectly cohesive. I love it. I just this this pleases me. This type of cohesiveness just makes me very very happy. <laughs> so, these are the items that I did receive. Now, what am I missing? Uh, there were two multiplacers that were supposed to be included in here. And then a pen topper, which the pen topper would be lovely, but it's not a necessity for me, especially because I typically do use a pen that has a single placer and a four placer. So it, I would have liked it. I would have used it, but uh, it's not it's not the end of the world to me. So those are the items that are missing. They're small items. And like I said, I will contact Jamie and Nicole or any one of their wonderful people who help them out and work for them. And I know they will send me the items or do something to make it right. So this was the like accessory portion of the mystery kit. And now we're going to look at that diamond painting together. Okay, so one thing that is really cool about being able to have both a diamond painting accessory company and a diamond art company is you can include your own trays in the toolkits. So this is a Bella Art Day Nicole tray. Um, I can never, ever remember what this is called. Basic tray or something like that. But these are lovely for being a simple, basic white tray. This is These are so much nicer than, say, this kind of a tray. <laughs> um, the difference between these is immense. This is a lot wider, much taller sides to this. This one has a very nice spout here that does, I don't know if you can see, but this angles up so you can shake your drills and um, gravity will help keep them inside of the tray area. I mean, this is, this is above and beyond what you're going to receive in most diamond painting kits. So that's always a very cool aspect of Bella Art Diamonds paintings. Then the rest of your toolkit is standard, but a deluxe level of standard. So inside here, you get some washi tape. This is clearly left over from Christmas, <laughs> which is kind of funny when this is the spring mystery kit and I have Christmas washi tape. I love the irony there. I think that's fantastic. You do have a um, airtight or, you know, virtually airtight little wax holder in here as well. And three little things of blue wax. I have a daughter who loves the blue. I mean, just goes gaga for the blue wax. So more than enough wax to complete this painting. You only need one of these patties to get the painting done for most people. You do have 
what are these? Tweezers. <laughs> That's what these are. These are called tweezers. Huh, hello. Um, super sharp pointy tweezers. And they are, these are sharp. These could do damage if you have small children around in the house or something. So keep these out of the way of small kids. And I do recommend keeping this little protective guard over the end of it too. Um, it's not so much a concern for me anymore. My youngest is eight, so it's not it's not the same. But if you do have little ones, toddlers especially in your house, you're going to want to kind of keep these safe from them. You do get a standard drill pin in here, and then you do have a few different multi-placers that come with it as well. So three different multi-placers, and it does come with a little comfort grip thing here that you just slide over the end. I can never do it. Nope, I'm not going to be able to do this one. I have a daughter who puts these on and she has no trouble. And she gets really giddy over the fact that mom can't do it and she can. So I'm just going to leave it like this. She'll come home and she'll put it on for me. So this is your toolkit. It is, I mean, this is a deluxe toolkit if there ever were one. And it's this tray that just puts it like, whoo, way over the top. Um, but, you know, your standard basic items are all in here. The stuff that you need to get this painting done. All right, so I don't know if that tray is actually going to fit back in this bag. Oh, it does fit in the bag. Okay. So we're going to put this to the side, and now we're going to move right along to the painting. Here are our drills. And what is so awesome, too, uh, that I love is this is my favorite way that drills come to you, is they're already in Ziploc bags, clearly labeled. You have a weight on here. You know which number it is, which color. There's a color code on here. Um, but this is pretty much kitted up and ready to go. So if you are good with working from bags, and there are some awesome new gadgets now, and I feel like Jamie has maybe made this too, but I'm not sure. I think he has though, but I can't, don't, don't quote me on that. I could be remembering completely wrong. Um, but there are wonderful, cool gadgets now where it's like individual little parts in a large plastic container. And you can just slide these bags right into those sections, making it so much easier to work from bags. So then kidding up can take a few minutes as opposed to half an hour to an hour so really awesome right up front here we can see that there are already some ab drills in here super cool and look at these colors definitely spring a ton of pink so much light pink in here this is not typically like a go-to color for me but uh, put it together with all the other spring colors and i can't help but fall in love i just can't um <coughs> I will look at those a little bit more closely in a minute after we undo this cool and gorgeous painting in here. Here is the painting. It is a spring painting right here. Um, and, and tulips. Oh my gosh, I love this. This this is the kind of thing I would have seen all over as a small child growing up in a very Dutch community. Blonde hair, blue-eyed people was the norm by me. Uh, I am not blonde-haired and blue-eyed, and I always felt very left out. Even in my own family, I was the only child that had... I'm going to try and move the light here a little bit. I was the only child that had, like, dark hair out of my siblings and my mom. And um, oh, that's just kind of a, a, a weird weird little quirk about me that now you know <laughs> uh but this is exactly the kind of thing that I would have seen up around town come end of April through May tulip time is early May and I love it it just makes me happy we have little bluebirds sitting up here this almost gives you like a wreath feeling but it's really only a frame um uh, she has her bouquet of tulips in here. They're tied together with a pink bow on top of a pink background. Big bold spring on top. Oh, guys, this this is happiness is what this is. Even though the girl doesn't look like me. But that's okay. She looks like a nice little Dutch girl. She looks like the kids that I went to school with. Gorgeous, fun painting. And on the sides here, you have 
your legend, which shows us that there are a total of 47 colors in here. At the end, they have their ABs listed. There are four ABs. The other thing that is really kind of cool, if you kit up in a way that you're able to use this feature, this is awesome. When you turn the painting around, the legend on the other side is still right side up for you. So every t no matter which direction, up or down, that you're working on the painting, the legend on the left is going to be like right side up. So that's really cool. Now, of course, I mean, yes, obviously, if you work on it on its side, well, that's not, it's not going to be. But <laughs> at least for uh, up and down, it, it is. And that's just a cool extra added feature. You have all of their marketing stuff here. This is an old canvas. Again, it says Mary's Diamonds. Um, this, their new stuff does have Bella Art Diamonds up here. Uh, so kind of ignore a lot of this old stuff. I do believe if you go to marysdiamonds.com, that is an automatic. It now will read as Bella Art Day, Bella Art Day Nicole or Bella Art Diamonds. So, um, that has kind of been changed on the online world. At the bottom here, there is some additional printing of Bella Art Day Nicole for diamond painting accessories. This is social media stuff. Um, again, I believe all of this has been converted over at this point. But over here is your licensing information. And it tells you that this is a 45 by 45 painting or about an 18 by 18 inch. And we will measure it. I do have my measuring tape here. And then, of course, a little image here of what the final product looks like. I will go ahead and we will measure quick a minute. I always start in the centimeters. So for the actual working space, it is like dead on for 45 centimeters. I turn it generally, unless it's a small painting, it's just easier for me to know that I'm getting good measurement this way. Trying to flatten it out. Uh, even, try, even trying to flatten this out, it might be, it might be up to half a centimeter smaller this way, maybe. Hard to say, I do have a pretty good um, I don't know what a blip here. I don't know a gap. I don't know. So maybe half a centimeter smaller this way. Really, it's it's a twenty five by twenty five, which means that the inch measurement is also correct. So I don't need to change that. It's a little bit under an eighteen by eighteen size painting. Uh, for our drills, you could get square or round drills. I did square. I do not take the time to go through all of the drill colors. It's just not something that I really enjoy watching in kit unboxings. So it's something that I have chosen to not do. But, I mean, you can see the colors are gorgeous, beautiful. <laughs> I don't know what else you want me to say. Um, they are resin drills and just fantastic. Just, I mean, yeah, just super pretty. At least I'm quite certain these are resin drills. I'll know more once I actually pull out our ABs. I do pull out the AB drills. And so we have a beautiful pink. This is kind of a red-orange AB. I'm not sure about this lighting in this video. It's a very cloudy day here today. In fact, my... Middle daughter's track meet was canceled because of the weather. It's rainy and it's just not a pleasant day and it's playing havoc on my videoing. Um, this I love this green, spring green. And then that same, look at that yellow. But guys, I just, I need to point out the thoughtfulness here. Look at how well these all coordinate. Look at. These coordinate so well with the sparkle dust drills that they sent me. I can easily do a swap out with drills that are in here. 
for example, I see a red in here. It's closer, it's more of a watermelon red, but I will inspect it. I think it probably is this red right here, number 13, oh, F. No, it's inside of the flowers here. So a little bit different, I was off a little bit. But I would feel totally comfortable doing a swap out for these two, especially now that I see where it is on the painting. Um, I would have no problem swapping out those colors. And the green, I could swap out the AB for the fairy dust if I wanted, but I probably won't. Instead, there are two colors that are very, very close. This is one of them probably swap those out and again I'm saying all of this without having been able to like thoroughly study the painting and make sure that these colors would truly be incorporated in well but I have a feeling they will be there is an orange in here a couple different oranges again same thing um depending on where they are on the painting I would very comfortably swap out this orange fairy dust so these fairy dust drills I feel like they told us that these would be sent randomly, but I don't believe it because they work too well with this painting. And of course, as if this weren't enough, hello, perfect match. And I have to assume that the pen topper is, I don't know if the pen topper was just a random something they had in stock or if it is a specialty that goes in the tulip set. I don't know. So I shouldn't say that because I don't know. But it just, look at how cohesive. I'm going to use the word again. How cohesive this set is. I love it. It's great. Oh, I get giddy about that kind of thing. If you haven't noticed. <laughs> um, so these AB drills, last thing we're going to do in this video I don't think I mentioned it either, but the canvas is gorgeous. This is a nice thick poured glue. The canvas is thick. It is soft on the back side. You have all of your measures here to help with wear and tear on the edges. I mean, just luxury canvas. Okay, so the AB drills are represented by the last four numbers on the legend, which, oh, I forgot to show you. Sticker sheet. So they do come with a sticker sheet as well. This is a better capture of what the image looks like in the end product. Again, all of your information is on here. Then you do have stickers. So if we're looking at this, 44 is the yellow and that symbol is a dollar sign. And I see that like in this rose down here. And it is a little bit too up in here. And 45 is this green and that is represented by it looks like an anchor sign kind of and that is actually up here yeah that's in the greenery up here and i don't see any of it down here so that is all exclusively up here 46 is kind of your red orange color and that is represented by, it looks like helicopter wings. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. It looks like helicopter wings. Uh, and that is in the tulips in her arms and her gorgeous bouquet. And then the last one is this beautiful pink, which is represented by uh, a four square diamond. It looks like a four square, but tilted on its side. And that, oh, this, I like where this, okay. This is actually put to serve as kind of an outline between like her thumb and her bouquet, between her skin. This could be skin here. It looks like it is skin of her arm, but I don't, that doesn't really make sense because she has a sleeve. It could be her, it could be she has like a open neck type thing here. Um, but down here again is an outline, outlining here between her arm, hand, and her bouquet, outlining here. I like that placement where we are actually using it to outline her face next to what she's holding. You got a couple dabs in here 
for the bridge of her nose. I like that. That is a really clever use of this AB positioning. Um, what that's going to do is that's going to really help her hands and arms pop out from the bouquet. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. So Bella Art Day Nicole, Bella Art Diamonds, Nicole and Jamie, everybody else who works for you. Thank you guys. This is so fantastic. I love it so much. I love doing this kit. I'm supposed to be on a no more new kits <laughs> kick right now because I have three from last year, large ones that I never managed to finish, but I want to do this kit so badly. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe I will make this my May project in honor of my childhood and tulip time growing up with the tulips. I have to really think about that because that is totally going against what I told myself I'd do this year, but I might, I might have to. <laughs> this is just too awesome. All right. I, of course, will link to Bella Art Diamonds or Bella Art Day Nicole in my notes. Please go check them out. One final image of everything that came with this. I love it so much. And um, questions, comments about anything, definitely leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, like I always say, please practice kindness. It is hard sometimes when you're having a bad day and it is rainy outside and I realize I have to do more running around for my kids in like an hour and I'm so sick of all of the running around. Sometimes it can be hard to be kind and patient. And it's at those moments when I think it is the most important to be extra kind and patient. So just be kind, be patient, and I hope that you are shown the same in return. I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day, and I will see you again real soon.